three, two, one. Fifteen things to do and write. I've never had one before. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It is seven a.m. right now, and Ian and I are about to head to Rye for a day trip. I'll see you guys there. We've arrived in Rye and we're gonna go to the Cobbles Tea Room for some breakfast before we start our day. The tea room is through this alley here. It's pretty easy to miss, just make sure you make a left turn. And we're sitting in a super cute alcove. What do you think? What do you want to get? We're on the famous street called Mermaid Street because I'm coming early is that there's no more nails here. A super picturesque. We're heading into the Yippus Tower now, which is also the Rye Castle Museum. Wow. This place is where the first women's prison in England was built. And now we're just in the tower, but there's lots of other places to explore here. with all the medicinal plants. There's marjoram, there's periwinkle there. About to head into the woman's tower. When the bell rings at six in the morning, you will rise immediately and be ready to take your slop bucket for emptying and your water can be filled. You will not receive your ration. That's the castle tower behind me. We're heading into the Rye Castle Museum to get out from the sun a little bit. This is the famous arch. Okay. 
We just had lunch. <laughs> <laughs> We just had some cider at the Waterworks microbrewery. Waterworks pub was really nice. We met this couple who have been traveling around the UK. Now we're just gonna walk around the streets. Hi, let's go. Parking here is way more expensive. We're gonna stop by Tempson's, which is a local grocery store, to get some drinks for us to have at the nature reserve. <sighs> we are headed to the Rye Nature Reserve now. I'll see you guys there. Pray that we survive the heat. We have umbrellas too, so we're gonna use them if it gets way too hot. We're just gonna do this red view here. The Asian way to walk outside in the heat. <laughs> we're both melting, it's so hot. Oh wow, the Discovery Center is huge now. We're gonna head into the Discovery Center. There's a cafe there. Is the turning of like a half year? This cafe has really nice views everywhere. It's like a glass building. It's a nice place to just have a coffee and talk. There's such a nice breeze here. We're now at the Discovery Center and we're gonna do a loop and this loop is around two miles. We were thinking of going all the way to Camber Castle but it takes over an hour to get there and it's a pretty hot day so we might give it a miss. We have rested for a very long time. And the Discovery Center closes at 4 o'clock so you'll probably need to get here before that. <laughs> They have all these huts located all around the reserve and there are benches here as well so if you wanted to sit and bird watch it's actually pretty convenient Are you having fun bird watching? Did you see anything? Mm -hmm. That camera sends over that side Absolutely melting right now We left all our stuff in the car because we didn't know there was a beach here. 
I might burn. I might burn. burn. I'm going to burn for sure. <laughs> Ow! It's so nice and cool. This beach is so nice. And the sand is really soft too. I would recommend coming here. I love it. So, change of plan. We are going to stay on this beach instead of going to Camber Sands because it looks super packed at that beach. And I don't think we can get parking, but it's really nice here. It's a super quiet beach and even though it's shingles, the beach itself at the water side, it's really sandy. So it's kind of nice. I'm right? fairly sure shingles is not the stones, but it's easy now. And I'm pretty sure. You can go swimming too, we just didn't bring our stuff, it's all in the car. <laughs> Do you want to go get it? Don't know. Let's go get it. arrived in Hastings and we are parked at Rockanor parking. We kind of decided last minute to come to Hastings so I don't really know what there is to do here but we're just gonna explore the town. I think there are nice stores and things like that there. East to left funicular up but it closes at half five and it's 5 25 now. I want to climb up there but it looks a bit steep. <laughs> this high street is really cute with lots of independent stores, like no chain. We are on our way to Boulevard, which is a Thai restaurant and a bookstore. Do you want to go to the white seafood and steak bar? Mm. No, I mean everything is fish and chips. Let's just get a takeaway. Time to eat some food in the car. We got some Thai green curry and some rice to share. And we're just gonna eat whilst watching the sea. We ordered medium spicy and we can't buy film. Oh, a seagull's on top, shall we? Rai is definitely a must-go place. We had a really fun time in Rai and there were lots of really cute stores and the whole vibe of a cute seaside town was really good. If you have a car, definitely head to Camber Sands for a nice sandy beach and also head to the Rai Harbour Nature Reserve if you want to avoid the crowds and you don't mind a bit of a pebbly beach. We actually just stopped at Hastings impromptu, so we didn't do very much here except get some food and explore the town a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching the video till the end, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!